Today, 10 huge insider saving secrets for Costco. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys like this series and you like saving money at all these big box retail stores, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content so I can produce more of it. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and leave a comment where if you wanted to save money at Walmart and I've covered that and now I'm doing Costco and I've done Target. If there's other stores where you want these insider saving secrets, drop me a line in the comment section. Quick reminder before we get to the huge insider savings that many employees don't even know, everything that you could save money on right now to help you throughout your life is alive on mattsdailydeals.com. The best deals, the biggest coupons, feel free to sign up for my email newsletter. I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit. If you are kind enough to use one of my links, mattsdailydeals.com. The big strategy to saving huge at Costco is understanding the pricing structure. For saving secret number one, it's all a numbers game when you are shopping at Costco. You need to pay very specific attention to the numbers that I'm gonna show you where not all deals are created equal. And if you aren't a Costco member, I'm going to show you why you might wanna become one and also how to still shop at Costco if you aren't. So for saving secret number one, and the information I'm gonna impart works for Costco's throughout the United States as well as Canada. If you go to Costco and you are shopping online, and this is also going to help with in-store information in a moment, you're going to see a section that's called hot buys. And in many cases, a lot of the deals you see in-store look very similar to this. If you see a deal that ends in 99, even though it's classified as a hot buy, and this works for deals in store as well, this means regularly priced merchandise. It means it's not necessarily a great deal. I'm gonna tell you which number you wanna pay attention to in a moment to know if something is an amazing deal or if something is on clearance, but I just wanna show you an example of how this works. So if you look in their hot buy section right now, it's $189 for this Nespresso Virtual Plus Deluxe Coffee system. And if you were to go right now to the Nespresso website directly, you're going to notice that even if you aren't buying it as a bundle, the virtual plus prices are 30% off select machines and 20% off select accessories. So this would be not necessarily a hot buy in my opinion. And just seeing that it ends in 99 means Costco is trying to advertise it to you. It's not necessarily at its lowest price. Let me call up a couple of images of different Costco price tags to try and demonstrate my point. So when something ends in a 9.9, saving secret number one, it's not necessarily its lowest price. If it ends in a 9.7, and we'll get to what this asterisk signifies in a moment, it is at its clearance price. And if you see something that ends in an 8.8, that means a local Costco is looking to liquidate that product and that's typically something that you would only see on a local level and that means that store might have more of that merchandise that they're trying to then get rid of but it spells huge savings so that 8-8 is key and you're more likely to see that in store. Saving secret number two, those delectable samples you see in store often correspond with a very high priced product. So you see the samples, you know you want them, and then they try to interest you and entice you to buy something that is in fact at its highest price. So a reminder, samples are fun, but it's to entice you to buy something that would otherwise be at its full price. For saving secret number three, and this will actually help you if you're not a Costco member and if you are looking to become one, memberships are around 60 bucks and it depends if that's right for your family and there's an executive membership for almost double the price which has more savings and perks attached to it. But the pharmacy at Costco is open to anyone. So if you are looking to enjoy prescriptions by mail, or if you want to take advantage of many of the discounts available at Costco Pharmacy, you do not need to be a member to shop at a Costco Pharmacy. And for saving secret number four, if you just wanna see whether or not a Costco membership is right for you, I highly recommend getting a Costco shop card. Now here's the caveat, Costco cash cards can only be purchased by members, but they can be used by anyone. So if you have a Costco shop card, you can use this in store. And a reminder, you do not need to be a member to use it. You only need to be a member to buy it. So if you have a friend or family member, someone who could get you this, or if you can buy one of these online, that might be worth your while as a consideration. That will also help you shop for other products which might be on discount without having to go through the whole membership experience. 
For saving secret number five, watch for Costco warehouse days. A lot of us shop on the weekends, that's when Costco's the busiest, but there are warehouse days that happen during the week which bring even bigger discounts and they're staggered either every month or every six weeks. And these warehouse days give you even greater savings on top of the regular sale prices. So make sure you stay on top of the Costco calendar if you are looking to enjoy greater savings and deals. Saving secret number six, I look like a moron every time I do this, I should have some big fancy graphic, but this is a frugal YouTube channel. And thank you again if you wanna subscribe. The Costco coupons are very valuable, but you might wanna know Costco doesn't accept manufacturer coupons. So two ways to get the coupons. First is make sure your address is up to date. Costco will mail you coupons, which it does for its members every month. In addition to the coupons and member only savings, you will do very well if you can incorporate an additional coupon on a sale price. And I'm going to share with you another big secret right now. If you approach the customer service or the member services desk, you can actually ask for coupons to find out if there are any coupons available. So if you think you might've missed one or you missed the flyer or your address wasn't correct or you, you just don't like clipping coupons, ask them before you complete a purchase or if you're considering a purchase on a specific product, what type of coupons they have available. For a big screen TV, a patio set, whatever it is you're shopping for, I have found that in half my tests, many customer service representatives were more than willing to dish out coupons. And that's really important before you finally check out and pay for that final bill. Saving secret number seven is tied to where the best deals are placed physically inside the store. And if you look at your typical Costco, map layout, you're going to find lots of flashy displays right around the front and the sides and the end caps. And these look like they're full of deals, but if you actually do your math and you cross compare and you have no life and few friends like I do, you're going to find the least expensive Costco products are right smack in the middle of the store. So make a beeline right on over to the middle of the store. I always recommend you start your shopping there. That's where the best deals are. And that's also where the most frequently depleted high stock items are centered. If that just sounded like a bunch of big words and mumbo jumbo to you, remember flashy displays on the sides, not great. And the items that everyone is trying to buy and shop for right in the middle of your Costco. The layout's obviously different, but that middle of the store, wherever it is you're going, is where you're going to find some of the largest savings. That's different from the Walmart approach. In a lot of the physical Walmart stores that I've surveyed, you go all the way to the back, and sometimes the back right is where you're gonna find many of the better deals, which is, which is strange. Target has a different approach. And by the way, if you do like this type of information, I've done breakdowns for Target, Walmart, and we'll continue to do so so you can save money. Saving secret number eight. Remember when I said not too long ago that if a price tag ends in 99, either online or in store, it's not at its lowest price? Well, obviously, if you find things in a 97 or even that 88, you're doing really well. But what happens when you see a 97 and something like this asterisk in the top right hand side of the screen? That means this product will not be restocked. So it usually means one of two things. It means that this is a highly sought after product that is in its liquidation phase and the store is not going to make any move to buy more. But it also means that the product is being faced with a discontinuation. So that doesn't really affect you on something like a waffle mix that you're likely just going to consume and not return or fish sticks or things like that. But what about when you're buying a home theater system? Maybe you do want some type of follow-up. Maybe you do need a manufacturer's warranty from a company that will support it and maybe the company in fact is just getting rid of everything. So these are things to keep in mind when you are reading the prices. An asterisk could be your best friend because it means you're locking in a really good clearance closeout price, especially if you see the 8.8 in the asterisk, that's like the best thing ever, strange gesture. But if you do see a 9.7 or a 9.9, it just simply means they're getting rid of it and it might be for another reason. The number nine saving secret is throw out all of the coupon rules and all of the asterisks and the nine sevens when you're dealing with my friend, Special K. And that's Kirkland. Now I know I gave you a lot of information tied to prices. That all applies on everything except for Costco's in-house brand, Kirkland. A Couple of things that I wanna tell you. When you do see a so-called huge deal on Kirkland products, please keep in mind that Costco controls this. So the list price and the sale price are all things that they can manipulate. I'm not trying to say that they do so vindictively, but I am trying to tell you that a lot of it is just mumbo jumbo garbage. 
A Kirkland product, in my experience as a consumer reporter, is a very good store brand. I love the Kirkland batteries. I like many of the food products that I featured. I found that in many cases, that very high-end brand is just as good as Kirkland. Kirkland automatically has around 60% savings built into the fact that you're at Costco, you're getting a discount as a member, and you're able to buy in bulk from a very well-made brand. But with that being said, don't get overly excited if Costco tells you that there's a sale on it, or they start doing limit one per member, or things like that. It simply means they just might not have enough stock, or they're trying to get rid of something because they've repackaged, or they're bringing in new deals. So while I highly support shopping the Kirkland brand, and I like many of the products tied to it, don't get overly fixated on sales and blowouts and clearance when you're shopping under this umbrella. And if anyone right now has recommendations from the Kirkland brand, if you're a frequent Costco shopper and there's something you love, like some type of olive oil or kitty litter, drop me a line, let me know. And in fact, leave a comment so other people can read from it. I found that the subscribers of this channel are brilliant, the viewers, I'm so lucky to have you guys, but you're very helpful to each other and you're also helpful to me. So point that out, drop someone a line in the comment section and we will all read your advice. And for saving secret number 10, before we get to a bonus, shop for candy at least two months before Halloween and at least two months before Christmas. I know that sounds like crazy advice, but if you actually look at the candy pricing, the bulk pricing tied to candy is unbelievable throughout the year and seems to undergo some type of weird clearance phase about two months before each holiday. I'm not quite sure if that's when Costco stores regularly restock their candy. I'm not sure if it's tied to just a, an overall rotation that happens throughout the retailer with their distributors. But that golden eight week mark prior to Halloween, prior to Christmas, will have you saving significantly more cash than if you shop any time within the month or within the couple of days in the vicinity of that holiday. And for your bonus, if you do wanna consider the Costco Anywhere Visa, not only do you save a lot on gas, 4% on eligible gas, including gas at Costco for the first $7,000 per year and then a percent thereafter, 3% on restaurants, all right, whatever, that's fine. But you get an additional cash back of 2% on all purchases from Costco and Costco.com. The 1% on all other purchases is lame, but if you are a frequent Costco shopper, there is no annual fee with your paid Costco membership for this card. And this is great because there's also decent customer service with this card in my tests. And if you are interested, all of the links to make this a reality on mattsdailydeals.com. So I hope you like what you saw. If you did like this, please again, leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, turn your notifications on so you'll know when I do the next upload in this series because this information hopefully was worthwhile to you. And thank you so much for making time for me today. I love you, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll be back soon.